Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn about Arduino string. Okay. So, a string is a data type that stores text rather than integer value. Okay. So, it is similar to other data such as integer, float, char, etc. Okay. So, mostly with respect to Arduino, the string can be declared in following ways. So, char, char is a data type, string, str, a, it's a variable, okay, with some uh, square bracket of size 10, okay. Again, this can also be written as or declared as char, char is a data type, string, a is a variable with a size 8, okay. So, in the flower basis, we have uh, mentioned the characters as well, okay. So, we can also add null character along with the string, okay. So, char string b, it's string b is considered as another variable with a size 8, okay. So, here the string what we are considering is an welcome, okay, with null character at the end. We can also declare an array with extra space for a string constant str, okay. So, all these things, char, str, a, 10 equal to hello, char, str, d, 6 equal to hello, char, str, d, square versus is equal to welcome. Okay. See, all these formats, whatever you are seeing right now here, all can be considered with respect to Arduino strings. Okay. So, all these things in these many ways, you can easily declare in the Arduino programming. And coming to the Arduino string object. So, what are the objects in the Arduino? So, an object is like a variable which points to a memory location that holds some data. So, it can be um, the begin, print, print, ln. So, these are the basic functions that are declared using the serial object. Okay. Now, let's see what is this string object. Okay. So, string object allows us to store and perform actions on an array of characters. So, this string object takes more memory than the regular string. So, this string object is always displayed with an uppercase S. So, whatever the uh, string we are mentioning, that will be uh, S, first letter S will be always uppercase S. Okay. So, it indicates a string class. Okay. So, it can be constructed from a different data types like integer, long integer, okay. Uh, and uh, it can be an instance of a string object. It can be a uh, constant character enclosed with single quotes, a constant string of characters enclosed with double quotes. You can also use float as well as double data types, okay. So, mostly the syntax will be string uh, in the with the brasses, uh, value, string with the brackets, value, comma, base, string in the brackets, value, comma, place of a decimal, okay. So, what is value, what is base and what is the place of a decimal, we are going to see now. So, value is nothing but, it signifies the value needed to format or represent a string. The data types are byte, unsigned int, char, float, double, unsigned long, long, integer int and string, all this can be considered as the data types of this particular object, okay. And coming to the base, so it signifies the base which requires to format the integer value. So, whether it is an hexadecimal or bin or etc., okay. So, value will be somewhat like an, uh, a data type as well as signification as well as the base is somewhat like an hex, bin, etc, etc, okay. Now, with the place of a decimal, it specifies the desired decimal places. So, the value is like a double or float or something, okay. So, the place of a decimal indicates the type of the value we are choosing. Now, coming to the functions of a string object, okay. We have so many functions with respect to string object. So, let's see if, uh, some of the main functions. Char at, okay, with the brackets, it is used to access a specific character, okay. 
So compare to, it is used to compare two strings. Ends with, it tests that if a string ends with the character of other string or not. Okay. So when there are multiple strings, if a string ends with the character which matches the other strings or the starting of the other strings, okay, it uh, matches those things, okay, starts with, okay. So it tests that if the string starts with the characters of other strings or not, okay. So it's an alphabetical matching, we can say like that. Uh, a couple of strings will be having same alphabet startings, right, or the endings, okay. So end with or start with will be comparing those or test those, okay, to lower case. It gets a lower case version of the specified string to upper case it gets an uppercase version of the specified thing. Okay. So lowercase, uppercase, we already know, right? Okay. Capital letters and small letters. Okay. So with respect to that, we are talking about. So next function is like equals. So it compares the equality of the two strings, whether they are equal or not, or same or not. Okay. Get bytes. It copies the characters of the string to the supplied buffer. Okay. How much size is there? Everything will be uh, can be fetched with the get bytes function. Okay. Last index of it locates the string or character within the other string. Okay. So we can also uh, locate whether that particular string or a particular character in the whole string is uh, there or not. So that can be uh, considered with respect to last index of. Okay. Substring. It is declared to get the substring of a specific string. So if at all the string is a class and we have substrings in that, okay? So we can also get or fetch that particular substring, okay? To int, it converts a valid string in Arduino to the integer type, okay? So whatever the character type or any data type will be there of that particular string that can be converted into an integer type. To float, obviously as the name indicate, it converts the valid string into into a float with respect to the Arduino and trim. It modifies the string by removing the extra white spaces. If at all there are any empty slots or empty spaces, okay, that can also be removed with respect to the uh, trim function. Okay, so these are the string objects and uh, at their functions. Okay, and these are the Strings. When we, whenever we get into more deep with respect to the Arduino programming, we come across all these things. Mm -hmm.